Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we explain how to install and run locally Vibe Voice. Vibe Voice is a new text-to-speech model developed by Microsoft. Vibe Voice is a novel framework designed for generating expressive, long-form, multi-speaker, conversational audio, such as, for example, podcast, from text. It addresses previous drawbacks in traditional text-to-speech systems, particularly it addresses the problem with scalability, speaker consistency, and natural turn-taking. Vibe Voice actually consists of two models. The first model is long-form multi-speaker model, and the second model is real-time streaming TTS model. TTS stands for text-to-speech. Let's start with installation procedure. There are several ways to install this software. In this video tutorial, I'm going to use the GitHub approach. First of all, go to this GitHub page, then scroll all the way down and find the overview. Then open this link over here in the new window. Here it is. Over here, if you scroll down, you will find the section called installation. And here you have two approaches. One approach is to use a Docker container. However, for the, to install it by using this approach, you will need to install Docker. I'm not going to use this approach. Instead, I'm going to directly clone the repository from GitHub, and then I'm going to install all the dependencies. However, I'm going to do this in a Python virtual environment. I'm not 100% sure if this model is actually using the NVIDIA CUDA compilers as well as uh, PyTorch with the CUDA support. Consequently, I will teach you how to install the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit and how to install PyTorch with the CUDA support, just in case. You can also try to open a terminal or, or a Windows command prompt and try to simply execute these three commands. And might it might happen that the model will work. I didn't test it like this. So, first of all, to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit, simply search NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit and then go to this web page. And then over here, click on Download Now. And here you need to select your operating system, architecture, Windows 11. And I would either go with the network or local. And over here, you need to download this file and you will install the NVIDIA CUDA compilers. You also need Git on your system in order to be able to download the remote repositories. To install Git, simply search Git install for Windows and find this link, then click over here and here you can download the Git for your system. Since you most likely have a 64 system or 64 bit system, you can simply click over here. And once you install Git, you can simply open a command prompt and in the command prompt, you need to do the following. You can simply type git, and if you see this type of response, this means that git is installed on your system. Another thing to verify is that you actually have NVIDIA CUDA compilers, which, which you should install using the instruction I gave you. So if you type this, you'll see your NVIDIA CUDA compilers. Good. Next, let's open a command prompt again by clicking here, searching for command prompt, and let's first create our workspace folder. To create the workspace folder, simply go to your base C drive and create a folder called, for example, test voice. Then navigate to that folder. And inside of this folder, you need to create the Python virtual environment. Here, I'm assuming that you have Python installed on your system. You can verify if Python is installed if, if you type something like this. On the other hand, if you don't have Python in your system, then you can simply download and install Python. It takes no more than, for example, five minutes. Okay, next, we need to basically clone the repository or before we do that, we need to create a Python virtual environment. To create the Python virtual environment, you simply can type this command and wait for a while. And then you need to activate the Python virtual environment. To activate the Python virtual environment, you can type this. And when in parentheses you see environment one, this means that the Python virtual environment is activated. The next step is to basically perform 
the commands given over here, you need to clone this repository. You can simply copy this part or you can simply type it. The address is not complex and just wait. It's going to take a while to download everything. Now you need to navigate to the folder called Vibe Voice. And then inside of this folder, you need to run this command that will install all the dependency. Now, you can try to do that. And it might happen that you will be able to install everything. However, you might not install the actually PyTorch with CUDA support and the execution might be slower. Try both ways. The second approach that I will follow in this tutorial is to first manually install PyTorch with CUDA support such that you can utilize your GPU power and then we'll later on just run this command. To install PyTorch with CUDA support, simply to search for PyTorch CUDA installed, click on get started and then over here you'll find the selection table. Here you need to select stable, your operating system Windows, PIP, Python and select the newest CUDA version. Copy this thing, then go back here, paste this and this should install PyTorch with the CUDA support such that you can use your GPU. On my computer, I have NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And after PyTorch with CUDA support is installed, you can simply run this to install all other dependencies. And let's see what will happen now. Here you need to be patient since a lot of things have to be installed. This script will also try to install PyTorch, however, hopefully it will recognize that we have PyTorch with CUDA support. Okay, so let's see here and you can see what is being installed. So be patient over here. After all the libraries are installed, we can try to run demo scripts. Consequently, go to the original web page and find the usages section. Over here, you have two options. Options. The first option is to launch real-time WebSocket demo and the second option is to inference from files directly. In this video tutorial, I will use the second option. That is, I will actually read the text from a file and on the basis of such a text, I will generate a speech or audio file. To do that, I will simply copy this script over here and I will go back to the terminal. And let me explain you what's happening over here. First of all, we are executing a Python file called Realtime Model Inference from File.py. This is a Python file that demonstrates how to use this model. Then we need to specify here, here the model path. It is inside of this folder and we are using Vibe Voice Realtime. Then we need to provide the text path to the text file. It's over here. And then we need to specify the speaker name. Let me show you the appropriate files. First of all, let's go back. Let's open a Windows Explorer and then let's go to our C folder. Let's go to test voice to vibe voice and let's go to demo. So if you go over here, you will see that we are executing this file, the real time model inference from file. That is, we are executing this file over here. Good. Then let's see further. Here's the model path. It is inside of Microsoft Vibe Voice Realtime 0.5b. This is actually the Hugging Face repository. Okay. Yes. And then let's see what's happening. This is the second very or third very important parameter. So in this folder, there is a file called 1p voice.txt and this contains the text sample. So let's find that file. And here it is, 1p underscore vibe voice dot text. Here it is. If you open this file, you will see the text. If you want to generate your own text, you will create a new file over here, for example, or anywhere else, and then pass the path and the name of the file over here, or write it down, and that's it. And then over here, we have, we have to specify the speaker name. Here, the speaker name is Carter. However, there are other forms of speakers or there are other speakers. And to find speakers, the easier way is to basically go to this folder 
and then over here we can even search for Carter so let's try to find Carter over here and here's Carter uh-huh good so if you want to use some other voice you can for example find and Mike man and instead of Carter you can type Mike or you can type Grace if you want a woman or Samuel or someone else for the time being let's just keep the default settings and then let's run this and let's see what will happen here you need to be patient since it's going to now the file is running and then over here let's see what's happening there are certain parameters that are specified in the file you can see the decoder configuration you can see the fusion head configuration so let's wait and see what happens you can see that the model is around two gigabytes and let's see and here the file is being generated here it is it's relatively fast you can also open a task manager to see the ZP, uh, cpu or gpu usage you can click on performance and you can see that my basically gpu is being extensively used you can see that the processor is running quite hard you can see the memory memory is only around two gigabytes i think or something similar and then let's see how long will it take to generate the text and then let's see after the file is generated you can see the summary or the statistic you can see the input file you can see where the output file is stored you can see that the name of the speaker is carter and you can see time it took around 52 seconds to generate the file and you can see that the audio duration is around 58 seconds great so let's find over here the, uh, the generated file so if you go here and if you go now back to the c drive and if you go to test voice vibe voice there should be an outputs folder and if you double click here let's see what will happen and i hope vibe you... voice is a novel framework designed for generating expressive perfect these processing long bolt on awesome. speech up to 90 minutes long with up to four good good so it works Okay, that's all for today and I hope that you like this video and see you in the next video tutorial.